This video reviews the Schwinn M-Power Echelon 2 console, RPM, and power sensor installation. Install tip. Before beginning the calibration process, magnet gap on the brake mechanism needs to be verified. Use the calibration tool and ensure it fits snugly between the magnets. Magnet gap. The overall magnet gap should be no larger than 11 millimeters, or inconsistent power readings may occur. Step 1. The console to power sensor wire has different lengths of unshield wires at each end. The end with the shorter length of unshield wires plugs into the console. Step 1a. Remove the handlebar post and route the end with the longer length of unshield wires through the post. Feed the cable through with one section of coil being inside the handlebar tube and one section of coil outside. Step 2. Connect the wire saddle clamp to the underside of the handlebar assembly and route the console to power sensor wire through. Step 3. Reconnect the handlebar post onto the bike frame. Take caution not to damage the console to power sensor wire. Step 3A. Feed the end of the console to power sensor cable out the end of the head tube. Take caution as there may be sharp edges inside the tube. Step 4. Mount the console bracket using the three Phillips pan head screws. Step 5. Insert the two C batteries into the console. Step 6. Slide the console onto the bracket. Insert the pan head screw and tighten. Step 7. Connect the console cable's RJ45 connector to the console. Step 7a. Slide the grommet of the cable into the slot on the connector's protective cap. Attach the protective cap to the bracket using the two socket head cap screws and tighten. Step 7b. Install the cosmetic cap using an M5 by 14 mm button head cap screw. Step 8. Unscrew the Phillips pan head screw holding the RPM sensor to the housing. Step 8a. Plug the RPM sensor cable 2-pin connector into the RPM sensor connector. Slide the cable grommet into the slot in the RPM sensor housing. Step 8b. Reinstall the RPM sensor cover into the housing using an M3 by 6 mm Phillips pan head screw. Step 9. Mount the RPM sensor as shown. The RPM sensor should be about 2 to 3 mm away from the flywheel. If the sensor is too close, it can rub against the magnet embedded in the flywheel. If the sensor is too far away, erratic RPM information may be displayed. Step 10. Position the rubber boot magnet assembly so the hex pattern of the boot lines up with the hex nut on the resistance mechanism. Slide the boot onto the hex nut and ensure the boot sits in contact with the back plate. Step 10A. Magnet bolt assembly update. If the bike serial is XXXXXXDAY 1642XXXX or later, an updated bolt and magnet assembly will be installed at the factory. The updated assembly has a magnet built into the fastener bolt and does not require the magnet cap to be installed. The updated assembly looks like this. Step 11. Connecting the wires to the power sensor. Plug the console cable into the RJ45 connector and the RPM cable into the 2-pin connector on the power sensor. Slide each cable's grommet into their respective slots on the power sensor casing. Step 12. Attach the sensor case to the resistance mechanism using the M4 by 6mm button head screws.
Before fully tightening, verify there are no wires between the sensor and brake. Ensure power sensor casing sits tight against the back plate of the resistance mechanism. Step 13. Thread RPM wire through the cable saddles and coil RPM sensor wire over the sweat guard connector to keep it away from the flywheel. Reattach the sweat guard. This concludes the Schwinn M-Power Echelon 2 console RPM and power sensor installation.